acceptance of the nomination has both supporters and critics talking. There's been plenty of talk right here in Houston, and Channel 2's Brandon Walker has reaction from one local political expert. What did they have to say, Brandon? Well, he says that Trump spoke to his base, and by base, we don't necessarily mean those who generally vote Republican. I am your voice. Donald Trump's message last night to Americans painted a nation at a dangerous crossroads. Terrorism, immigration, killers. Problems he says he'll fix. I am with you, I will fight for you, and I will win for you. This was a very unorthodox uh, conventionist speech. Never mind voters still on the fence, says Rice University political science fellow Mark Jones. USA. <laughs> Jones says Trump spoke to those who already believe in him, his ideals, and what he says he will do if elected. Normally, we tend to see the candidate reach out to people who didn't support them during the process, as well as to swing voters for the general election. Donald Trump did none of that. He doubled down on his very nationalist and populist discourse, highlighted what he believed was wrong with Hillary Clinton, what was wrong with the world. Yeah, but back here live, there are some things that Jones says Trump will do and uh, those who are still on the fence. For one thing, Republicans who were in support of his opponents. Take, for instance, those here in our area who may have supported Senator Ted Cruz. Also, uh, those swing voters who traditionally vote as independents. And finally, he put those uh, white male voters who traditionally vote as Democrats but may perhaps not like Hillary Clinton, who, like Donald Trump, as we know, is unpopular among voters. We're live this morning. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Brandon, thanks.